Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Taffy Twist Bracelet. This is an intermediate level design. To make this bracelet you will need 40 A colored bands, 12 B colored bands, 12 C colored bands, and a C clip. I will be using white, pink, and red for this bracelet. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Turn the loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Start by placing 13 A colored bands along the left side of the loom. We'll start from the center pin and place the first band from the center pin out to the left. Our next band will be placed from that one to the next pin. Place one band over the other up the left side of the loom and we'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. Once you reach the second to the last pin, you'll place that band into the center. Then we return to the beginning of the loom. Again, start from the center pin and you'll place an A colored band from that pin out to the right. We place a band from that one up the right side and place one band over the other in a single chain. And again, we'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. And once you reach the second to the last pin, you place that last band into the center pin. Next, we'll place a cap band on this last pin. Grab an A colored band, place two fingers in each side, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that last pin. Now we'll place the bands that go across the loom. We start at the beginning of the loom and we grab one each of the three colors, A, B, and C. Place them all together. Try to keep them in that order. Put your fingers through each side, twist it into a figure eight, and then lay it across the first pin on the left side to the first pin on the right side. See how it forms this figure eight. You move up to the second pin on each side and you'll repeat that process. You'll grab one band of each color, put your fingers through each side of that, twist it into a figure eight, and then lay it across those pins on the loom. You move up to the next pin, and again, you grab one band of each color, two fingers on each side, twist it to a figure eight, and then lay it down across those pins. We continue doing that for each pin across the loom. We'll fast forward from here until we reach the end of the loom. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn your loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Start looping from the center pin with your hook. You'll pull the cap band back and you'll be looping this first band out to the left. You grab the first band on the top, hold the cap band down with your thumb and pull that band out to the left. You can see you've grabbed the right band because it forms that teardrop shape. We'll continue looping the bands up the left side. Now we will be looping 
your bottom band. If it helps, you can separate these in the beginning so that it's easier for you to grab the bottom band. Otherwise, you just use your hook and you pull all the bands above that bottom A band back. Slide your hook up through the channel and pull that band forward. Again, notice how it made that teardrop shape. That shows you you've grabbed the right band. We go up to the next pin. Put your hook down through the channel. Pull all bands back above that bottom A band. Slide your hook up through the channel and then pull it to the forward pin. We'll do that one more time before we fast forward to the end of this side. Put your hook down into the channel, pull all bands back, slide your hook up through the channel, and pull it forward. We'll fast forward from here. And on this pin, we'll pull that last band into the center. And then we return to the beginning of the loom. With your hook, you'll pull back the cap band, slide your hook up through the channel, and pull that band out to the right. Again, if it helps, you can pull all the bands above that bottom band up. It may help you initially in grabbing the bottom bands. Again, with your hook, you pull all the bands above that bottom band back. Slide your hook up through the channel and then pull that band forward. We'll do it for the next one. Pull all the bands back. Slide your hook up through the channel, grab that A band and pull it forward. One last time before we fast forward, pull all the bands back, grab the bottom A band, lift it through those bands, and loop to the next pin. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the end of the loom. And on this last pin, we pull to the center pin. And there we've finished looping all of our bands. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. Pull all of the bands on this last pin up to the top. Slide your hook down through the channel of that last pin and tilt it out to the side. We'll place an eight colored band on the end of the hook. Pull back. Pull your hook back as you slip it through there. Place both ends of the band on your hook and then move it to the thickest part of your hook. Then with your fingers, you lift the bands up off the pins and remove your bracelet from the loom. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend the bracelet, you must first decide how many bands you will use to make your extension along one side of the loom. For smaller wrists, three or four bands may be needed. For larger wrists, you may need six or more. So you place these bands in a single chain going up the side of the loom until you've placed the number of bands that you need. Then on this last pin, you'll place your cap band from the bracelet. Find your cap band on the end of the bracelet, pull it, and extend it from the last band to the pin behind it. Then you'll loop the bands that you placed in that single chain along the side of the loom. And once you loop this last band, you'll pull it to the middle pin. This creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Grab your C-clip with the open side facing forward and snap it over the bands. 
Make sure it's on there securely and you can pull your extension from the loom. On the other end of the bracelet, you'll pull your hook away, slide your two fingers in through those bands. Again, this creates an area where you can attach the other side of that C-clip. So you move all the bands to one side of the C-clip and then snap it over the other side. And then you've got that securely on your C-clip. So there we have your finished Taffy Twist bracelet.